from the station that's working for you. Covering Boca Raton, the Palm Beaches, and the Treasure Coast, this is CBS 12 News at 5. Hill Mills going to new lows to stay in business after a massive crackdown. Law enforcement officials now say rogue clinics are taking new measures to avoid being busted by undercover cops. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Roby. Welcome to CBS 12 News at 5. And I'm Suzanne Boyd. Even with the high profile takedowns, prescription drug abuse is still a major problem across South Florida. And CBS 12's Chuck Weber, just back from Palm Beach County's second pill mill summit, and joins us live with the new plan of attack and what the pill mills are now trying to, to do to avoid prosecution. Chuck. Well, Eric, Palm Beach County's sheriff and state attorney held a prescription drug abuse summit just more than a year ago. I attended that. Today was Pill Mill Summit 2, and I've got to tell you, they have made some progress since that gathering a year ago. Karen Perry knows the nightmare of prescription drug abuse. Her son, Richard, died of an overdose. My husband and I felt that we had to do something to prevent this horrific tragedy from happening to any other family. Perry co-founded NOPE, an organization that speaks to hundreds of students each year. And Perry is a fixture at gatherings like this, Palm Beach County's second pain clinic summit. I am encouraged. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big problem. Perry has reason to be encouraged. The county and some city governments have imposed moratoriums on new pain clinics. And earlier this year, the DEA and local law enforcement staged Operation Pill Nation, taking down several big clinics, arresting clinic owners and doctors and staff. It's ongoing. Uh, Pill, Na Pill uh, Nation was just uh, the beginning of it. But DEA agent John McKenna says the bad guys are already adapting. We've sent undercovers in now to different pain clinics where now they want to take blood to make sure that you're dirty, otherwise they're not going to deal with you. If you go in there and you're clean, you could be a cop. But a big part of this gathering focusing on treatment of addiction and preventing people from getting addicted in the first place. Like what Perry promotes, this is her message. There is help and there is hope out there for successful recovery, so not to be afraid or ashamed to speak up and and say that you need that help. Perry and some in the treatment field who were present today called for more education for doctors regarding the drugs that they prescribe. Suzanne and Eric. All right, now Chuck, was there any discussion today about what Tallahassee was not able to pass this year to help shut down these pill mills? Yeah, absolutely. They talked about the legislature this year. The sheriff and state attorney praised lawmakers' efforts to keep the prescription drug database intact. There was some danger of that going away altogether. But they also told the legislators present today that they feel Tallahassee can do more, including the immediate requiring of reporting to that database. Right now, doctors have seven days to do that. All right, Chuck Weber reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. Well, the other big story that we're following.